Hello, it's Chris Yost of Bullion RV in Balmy, Duluth, Minnesota. Today is Tuesday, March 7, 2023. Behind me newly arrived is our brand new, all new, 2023 Winnebago Micro Mini 1720 FB Travel Trailer. We're gonna show around the outside, show the inside, see what you guys think. So the 1708 FB is gone, 1720 is here, in the flesh, ready to go camping. Of course, all aluminum frame walls, fiberglass exterior. This coach is about 3,700 pounds dry. Doesn't take a huge vehicle to pull it. Got the nice aluminum rims, a little bit of a lift. You've got the Goodyear tires. Got the outside speakers there for blaring your Led Zeppelin at the campground. Big LED lit power awning there. Got your nice big fold up aluminum stairs, nice and sturdy. It does have an outside spray port right here in case you want to spray these off before you flip them up in, into the coach itself. Electric stabilizer jacks, all four corners. This coach also has the Asdell backing behind the fiberglass, which will wick water, so no delamination there on the sidewalls like in the olden days. Huge pass-through storage there. It does come with an LP Quick Connect, so you can bring along your own grill if you want, your Blackstone, Coleman, whatever you want. Tie it right to these LP tanks right here, which we fill. We also put our brand new Deep Cycle 27 Series battery on board in a box. That's all included. No hidden fees, no games here at our dealership. So you get the power tongue jack. And I'm pretty sure what they do here is they give you a 30 pound cover and 20 pound tanks is usually what they do. Let's just confirm that if we can. We're almost there. Yep, so 20 pound tanks to keep the weight down. But if you want to add 30s, you can certainly do that. So this coach, I'll try to show you here in a bit, it's got 200 watt solar panel on the roof already. To trickle charge the battery that we'll put right there. But it also has a plug in here on the side if you want to do more portable solar, you can certainly do that. And on the side here you got set satellite and cable hookup, outside shower for spraying off the kids, black tank flush, spray out that black tank, should discharge right there. Spare tire, of course. Pre-wired for the Voyager backup camera right there. Full walk-on roof, there's your roof ladder. What's nice too is they put this receiver hitch right here. In case you want to bring along a bike rack. I'm gonna try to climb up here without killing myself. So just give me a second here, guys. I'm gonna get yelled at for going up here, but here we go. There's that nice solar panel right there. Built-in trickle charger. There's the Starship Enterprise right over there. That's your digital TV antenna. No more cranking it up. Okay, we'll try getting back down here. If you guys hear a big thud, just call 911. Okay, let's go inside. Take a look and see what we see. So, right when you walk in, got some storage here for the purse, for the gear, the bag. Nice place to hear. Watch this. So the keys, what else can we do here? Set the cheaters, cell phone. There's even a charger right there, you got a cord. Charge that cell phone up. Storage here. Around this side, when you walk in, here's your uh, awning switch. A water heater switches, which is gas electric water heater. Nice feature there, awning switches and your monitor panel. Tells you those of your tanks, they are empty. Thank goodness for that. So a great couples coach. You do have the option there of making this down to about a six foot bed. Uh, otherwise tell the folks to bring their own RV or they can sleep in a tent outside. So counter space here on either side of the big stainless steel sink. You got the sprayer here to keep people out of your way, out of your cooking area. Do a little counter extension right there. And they do give you a convection microwave so you can bake in there which gives you more storage down here where the oven would normally be. You still have the three burner range. This, also, this cover also acts as a backsplash like that. There's your three burner range. And how about this? So you're in this small, probably 20 foot travel trailer, roughly total length. And you've got an eight cubic foot gas electric fridge. It's a huge fridge for this size of a trailer. Just less trips to the grocery store. 
Obviously forced air heat furnaces right down there. Here's your air conditioner right up here. Got the night shades. Window opens there, window opens here. Get some cross ventilation if you don't want to use the air. 60 by 74 queen bed there with storage underneath. A little tuck in storage right there. Another place to put your cell phone or things right there, maybe even a CPAP machine if you'd like. Of course, some nice overhead storage as well. Nice and deep too. Sitting on the bed looking back this way. It's nice and bright too. In a small trailer, nice and light on the inside to make it feel more open. Here's your TV with your JBL stereo. Get into the bathroom here. What's nice, okay, so you got that skylight right there. Do have a little makeshift sink here if you like as well, if you want to use that and wash the hands. But what you can do, I'll show you. So with this skylight, so I'm 6'2", I'm not coming with, but even that could get clean in here. Just a nice little couples coach by Winnebago Micro Mini, not heavy. Only seven foot wide, so not a lot of drag behind you. But gives you all the amenities pretty much of a larger trailer, just in a smaller form. Once again, this is Chris Yost here at Billion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. For those of you who don't know where Duluth is, if you're looking at a map of the US, we're at the far western tip of Lake Superior. We're about two and a half hours due north of Minneapolis, St. Paul. This unit's here, it's available. I've been here over 20 years. I'll do whatever I can do to earn your business. We take trades. This is the cheapest one I can offer anybody. Give me a call, text me anytime, day or night, if you're interested at 218-393-1472. Stay safe, stay positive, and happy camping.